<laughs> Gee, you know an awful lot of tricks. Mm -hmm. You're not a professional magician, are you? No, I'm not a magician. Oh, I'm just joking. You really don't? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Wonderful. The best I've ever been, one might say. I think that's a lie. How are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Friday the 13th, so everything's good. Don't mention it. It makes it real. What are we talking about today? I, ha I need help. That's my favorite. Uh... I know, right? Future Amy has a problem um, that she's putting off till next week. Um, I have a flow that's currently running as a person. Let's call them Jeff. And the flow is running as Jeff at the minute, but we need to switch it to run as a system user or like an application user of some sort because mm. Jeff's stamping yeah. his name all over stuff and it's a bit bit wrong. And, and then if Jeff gets hit by a bus and he gets mm. fired, then the flow dies. And What would you prefer? I will, we'll, we'll start with application user. No, I meant for Jeff to be hit by a bus or fired. Oh, mm. Jeff's all right. I think ooh, I think he'd be better without a job. So yeah, maybe get fired. He doesn't deserve to die. Okay. Good question though. That was hard. Anyway, let's start with a solution. Wake up, Jeff. Do you know the reference? What do you think? I have no idea. Did you grow up with that? No, I have no idea. Wake up, Jeff. Are you familiar Wake with- Wake up, me? Amy. It's time no. to go to school. I, I, I remember that. Oh, oh my goodness. Wiggles. Dude. I didn't grow up with that. I still know that. That was before my time. <laughs> what do you mean? They forever. I'm not even kidding. The Wiggles was not my time. <laughs> Wake up, Jeff. Everybody's wiggling. Wake up, Jeff. Anyway, so wake up, Jeff is the solution. So let's let's first create a Power Automate flow that connects as app user. Yeah. Let's go through the steps. What uh, Wait, uh, what you need to go through? Do you through. have one that's already got a connection that isn't an app user? We'll create one later. It's it's fine. Well, let's let's start with simple one. What do you want to do in that flow? I want to send an email. We always uh, send emails. We always send the email. Okay. <laughs> We need to send Jeff an email to say, look out for the bus. So when someone modifies, creates a contact, let's say I'm super paranoid. And when someone creates a contact as a company boss, I would like to know about that. About every single one of them. I'm that paranoid. Yeah. Paranoid uh, CEO. Oh, Joe got a promotion. Not Joe, sorry. Jeff. Scope is required. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For everyone. And let's quickly test it and the way we test it is we let it run and now it sits there and waits until we go ahead and go to apps do we have any converse a bnb look uh, i know this one has contacts give me the name susie susie quattro what <laughs> That was before your time. Again. Our love is alive. And so we begin. Go. It's already done. It's too quick. It's actually quite fast uh, lately. Here you go. Perfect. Beautiful. So now we're saying the one thing that really annoying is this part. I'm connecting as Doug. So if Doug leaves... Or if you deploy, want to deploy to another environment and you need to reconnect and uh, set up connection references. So you really want to have a connection reference that uses a connection with the service principle. Service yes. principle, it's user that is not a user. It doesn't have a license. It's connection for the purpose of running flow, running unattended processes, like when stuff needs to be done by not a specific user. Let's start with creating service principle. In most of the environments, you would have permissions to do that. Like normal users would have permissions to do that. If you don't, then you need to talk to technical people to allow you to do it. So you need to go to portal.azure.com and then go to um, Active Directory. 
you always have access to Active Directory, except what you can do with it depends on the environment. Some more locked down, some less locked down. And then you go into app registrations. I already have a bunch of those, but let's create a service principal identity. Mm -hmm. So we go ahead and say it's Power Automate. Not Susie. No, no, no. It's Power Automate. Oh. Because we're going to use it in Power Automate. But you could use it in other places? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You don't have to create a single one for on for all the occasions. Okay. So you just create Power Automate and just take all the defaults. And you're nearly done. What you need to do is to copy some of the information. First, application or client ID. You just copy that. <clears throat> and what did I teach you? What did I teach you? Client ID. What? You don't need to copy each one in turn. What? It what starts doc? with Windows and ends with V. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. And now I'm pasting. I'm pressing Windows V. Which one is which? Bottom one. The bottom, bottom one is ID. It's, are you sure? Yes, because I can see both of them. Right oh, yeah, now. yeah, yeah. You can see. Yeah, if I copy it. Okay. <laughs> and you need uh, a tenant ID. And tenant ID is directory or tenant ID, this one, this one. So these are two pieces of, of the puzzle. The last thing you need to create a secret. It's Think of it like a password uh, generated for you. Uh, you can't get it more than 24 months. So it's three, six or custom. If you're playing with something and you know it's going to be dead in a month, it's a prototype. Set it to a month. It will just die off. Mm -hmm. uh, for this purpose, I'll set three months and I'll say add. And it adds it and it shows the value. This is the moment when you need to copy it because once you navigate off that screen, you will never see this value again, right? So we'll put it here just for the time being. So we've got this identity called Power Automate. Okay, we don't need the screen anymore. We can close that. Now let's go and create an application user. So what we need to do is to grant this app identity access to our dataverse. Mm -hmm. yes. Forget about flow. It's nothing to do with the flow just yet with Power Automate. Mm -hmm. We're creating an identity and we non-user identity and we're granting it access to dataverse. So we go aka.ms PPAC, which is admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. And we go into our environment and then within the environment see this one s2s s2s apps what does that mean what does that server mean? to server so if you ever see Ooh. that it's a server to server okay oh, and we go and see those i already have some but uh, mm -hmm. we'll create another one new application user and that's why it became really really friendly so business unit where you're creating it and then I say, add an app, and it shows me what, um, what I have. That's really nice. Yeah, Power it Automate. It used to be terrible. It used to be absolutely terrible. Um, so I'm done. And security role. That's important. This is how you manage what this account is allowed to do, what this non-user user account app user is allowed to do. You don't assign any API permissions, nothing like that. Roles is how you control it. I have no idea what this uh, roles are. Why not just give it system admin and we? I make really a caveat that don't that's... like giving admins, but uh, I, I give up. Uh, system customizer for the purpose of this exercise, but really you need to have a proper role and what permissions. Even better if you create a special role for this user, then you can control what does this account is allowed to do, and you just add permissions as you go. Yeah, makes I'll sense. I'll just go ahead and create. So now we have this Power Automate user and you can go ahead and adjust role if you need to. Cool. Right, you click on this. Do you know how this thing called dot, 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 vertical dot, dot, dot? Kebab. Kebab, nice. I love that. I, and you know I this you one? possibly told me that what's, and I've told lots of people. What's this one? Waffles. Waffle. Okay, just checking. I'm trained. What's, what's this I'm one? Highly food trained. What's this one? Oh. Uh, um, under the waffle. Sandwich. Oh. Well, close Double enough. decker sandwich. Burger. 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 Hamburger. 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 Um, hamburger. That was fun. Um, well, another reference. I'll, ins I'll insert a clip for you. It's another cultural reference. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>
I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. You would like to buy a am burger. No, no, no. Let's break it down. Anyway, so we're done here. Okay, so we created a uh, a user. So now let's go to our flow and we say, well, how do we connect it? Well, that's where I don't know any better way now at the moment, right? There will be a better way in the future. I'm You've sure. You've got to rip it out, haven't you? Yeah, you say new connector reference? Yeah. And the click quickly service principle. Oh, okay. I thought you had to delete it. Okay. Power so, uh, so I always thought there was a way to get to that that I didn't know about, but now yeah. I'm relieved to know that it's not just me. And now you can relax once you that, because Self if mode. you pause on the first screen, it will fall through to standard sign-in dialogue uh, and connect you as a user. And here's the three pieces of information we set aside earlier. Create. That's it. That's really cool. So now we connected through Power Automate connection. Wow. I'm and not even a, pretending. That's really freaking cool. So now this flow can be moved to another environment. And all you need to do is to reconnect um, yeah. this connection reference. So if we go to the solution, remember we had solution? We did. We did. Wake up, Jeff. Here's your connection reference called Dataverse. And if I go in, and I hate that, so I'll change it to uh, yeah, Jeff connection. You see, I can connect as Doc. I can connect as a service principal using Power Automate connection. That's really cool. So this is actually not a connection. This one is just to differentiate. Let's say it's a reference. Yes. Reference. Like so this one is connection reference, right? So in the new environment, what you will need to do is you will need to create the uh, app service or app principle connection. Um, and keep in mind, if environment is in the same directory, you can reuse the same app principle in, let's say, test environment and production. It would have different By app roles. app principle, you mean you're using the app user, right? Um, app principle is the user. record in Active Directory that you created. Then you created app oh, user create image environment. One. You can reuse the same principle. Uh, right. I would I wouldn't do it in small environments. Yes, in a bigger one, create separate for production, for example, with its own set of secrets and so on. So when you deploy, do you have to manually update which one points at it? Uh, you do need to create. Let's say in production, you need to go through the same steps. You need app principle, this non-user user in Active Directory, you need an app user in your instance, in Dataverse instance, with the roles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you need a connection that you create in production. Unfortunately, there is no way to create connection without going through what we just did, without modifying flow. Ideally, you would go in production connections, new connection, yeah, and say service principle. I want service principle connection. Now, unfortunately, mm -hmm. when you go to Dataverse, it goes straight to the login. It goes straight to the, it will create connection for me, for the current user. Yeah. You okay. really need to sense. be in the Dataverse. The other bit, which when it's not kind of citizen friendly, it's more of a developer friendly, you can do that uh, in ALM, Application Lifecycle Management. You can yeah. automate okay. creation of the bits and bobs using uh, scripts, deployment scripts, using PowerShell yeah. script. Okay. So you can do it. Um, basically, you would ask people who are in charge of ALM. If, you, if you're working in the practice that practices ALM, um, <laughs> then you talk to... You talk to devs, to developers or DevOps in this instance, you ask them to propagate gotcha. this connection. And connection reference would come with the solution, right? So, yes. and then you just simply, after you deploy, what you do is say, uh, 
okay, yeah. Point to the right to one. The when right. you deploy okay. it, it will prompt you and say which one you want to connect to. Because in the other mm -hmm. environment, I may or may not have this power automate connection. Yeah. So now we have a reference that uses app user connection. Let's test it, then it does work. So let's go to. Uh oh. Hmm. The flow checker says no. There is a problem. Go to the trigger. Maybe we should stop. We don't quit. We do not quit. Again, again. Much, much, much later. Wait, is this what I do with the role you gave them? System customizer doesn't have much read access. Good point. What you're saying if we add... It's the security role. System customizer is a really weird role. You don't have data access. Yeah, no, you can just change stuff, but you can't actually see what's in there. And say new number three. Three. Third time lucky. It did work. So, that so. was interesting. I genuinely learned something, and you've made my week next week less anxiety inducing. So thank you. Thank you. Um, and now this service principle is kind of disconnected from Jeff, uh, disconnected from Amy, and people can use it without the fear of uh, losing control. It's and pretty hard to hit. Oh, I just thought of a really good joke. What if the service principal gets hit by a user service bus? <laughs> uh, one of the things I usually do, I clean up the connection references. I really yes, like please. doing that. Um, I want to see just this connection reference, yes. the Jeff one. I don't want to see anything else. But the good news is, now, if I go ahead in my solution, if I start creating a new cloud flow and I do need a connection, Jeff connection reference is already there. Yeah, look, um, you can have multiple of those. Um, of course. Multiple connection references. People create uh, service principles for different uh, uh, purposes. Purposes. And sysadmin is not a good idea. Correct. On that note, Thank you very oh, no, much. No. It's been uh, Always good a good Friday. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Bye. Il mio core. Il mio core. Don't forget. Ta 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 ta. I'm not getting nervous. Don't get nervous. Please, let's come back.